Hi, this is Melody Gray with the Houston Drama Club. This podcast is meant to help promote plays and musicals here in the Houston area. Our website is www.houstondramaclub.com, where you can find upcoming and currently playing productions. So join me while I go out into the Houston theater community to find out what's going on. Join the club and let's go see some theater. Hi, everybody. This is Melody Gray, and I'm really excited to be at Company on Stage tonight. This isn't a Company on Stage production. It's a Wildwood Theater production of The Cover of Life. And so I'd like for you guys to introduce yourselves. Let's start with you, Vince. Vince Tortoris, one of the founding members of Wildwood Theater. And you're also the director. Uh, Director of Tonight's Show, yes. Right. Great. And Laura? Uh, Laura Bellamy. I'm also one of the founders of Wildwood, and I play Aunt Ola in the show. Great. And Kelly Williams, also one of the founding directors, and I'm, I'm, I'm the assistant director for this show. Oh, wonderful. So, you guys, talk to me about Wildwood Theater. Whose idea was it to form? Because uh, I've been, thank you. Okay, everybody's pointing to Vince. <laughs> yes, they It's a podcast, so they're pointing to Vince. So, yeah. talk to me about the theater company and why you wanted to start it. Well, actually, the, the first iteration of, of the theater for me started several years ago, and I, I was trying to put something together, and it didn't, uh, it didn't work out quite the way I had thought it would, and so um, it, it never left my, my thinking, and uh, I, I was playing with names and doing this kind of stuff and just trying to find the right partners, and I wasn't really finding the right partners, and then I met Laura, and uh, Starla Knapp is our fourth founding director. She's not here with us tonight, but um, but Starla and I have been friends for a long time, and then I met Laura and met Kelly, and we started talking, and they are the kind of people that, that I want to do business with and want to be, you know, uh, have a theater with, and so we started talking, and it got serious for us about March or April, I guess, mm-hmm. yeah, okay. this year, so uh, we started... And our my original plan was to have us up and running and doing something next summer or in the late spring next year, mm. and 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 I can tell you about that when we start talking about the show. But um, it it things came together. There were actresses and this show, and I knew that we needed to be doing this show. So we started. We stepped up the time frame on it and and decided to do the show this summer. And so here we are. Well, do you feel like there was a need for another theater company? Because it seems like there's a lot, but a lot of people start theater companies because of the content that they want to do. Can you speak to that, Kelly? Well, for, for me, um, yeah, it's uh, th- there's a need for another theater, there, but it's, it's about quality and, and raising the bar and, and, and showing the others how, uh, when you're with talent and sets, how, how much of a better job you can do. It's about raising the quality of the product. Yeah. I see. I like yeah. it. Well, and, and one of the other thing that that, uh, that we were thinking about and we talked about extensively was I live south of town, Missouri City area, and there aren't any community theaters out in that area. Um, and there there are a lot of a lot of people that live out in that area that for one reason or another there are a lot of young families. They have kids who are in theater programs, and they these kids will go and audition. You know, so there's a big market for the young people who are sure. up and coming and can be trained and all that kind of stuff. So we were thinking that a, that a good spot, there's a little niche out there that needs to be filled. And so yeah. that's that's kind of kind of the idea. And we're not locked into just one little area of town, of course, right. but but there is a niche for you know that in in that area. And we just want to draw people in that are like Kelly said that are are talented and and have the drive and determination to to come and work with us because that's what we have. Yeah. Well, I love that mission. And Laura, what did you think about it when you were thinking about becoming involved with it? Well, uh, my perspective is that there's no such thing as too much theater <laughs> <laughs> you're speaking to yes. the choir right yes. now i believe that yes. too and you know there's there this is a big city yeah and there's a lot of talent here Amen. and and there's not always enough opportunity so yeah. you know i mean I, the pool is certainly large enough the area is certainly large enough you know it's not like we would be taking business away from no. anybody no which is the beauty of theater because you know everybody's doing different shows all the time Absolutely. so you don't get a lot of overlap 
And we all have really kind of the same perspective, approach, and ethic about it. You know, yeah, yeah we're a community theater, but we want to be a community theater on a professional level. Yeah. You know, yeah, there, is, there is no reason we can't do that. And, you know, the kinds of things that we want to offer and the shows that we want to do and, and the style with which we all approach it, you know, we, we have the same heart and mind. So let's talk about this production, this play. Uh, the play is called The Cover of Life, and who is it written by? Uh, Archie Robinson. And tell me how you found this play, because it's a really singular play. Yeah. It's yeah. fantastic, let me just say that. So Yeah, the, the, the way this started was I was acting in a, in a show at another community theater, and a couple of the actresses that were in the show were lamenting the fact that the, the good roles, were, there were few and far between and for women and and you know there's that one good female lead or a good female and a good support but other than that you you get the ensemble there's not a, a show that's got all the roles they're not finding the roles the dramatic ones and so I laughing you know I laughed with them and I said so what you're telling me is you want me to produce and direct a show and they said yes please <laughs> and so I, I you know I, we laughed about it I went home and I started reading plays and I, I wasn't finding the one with a good roster of, of roles for women that, that could have more than one or two good actresses that you know and I know a lot of good actresses in this town and um, I actually volunteer at the high school out in the area where I live and I help build sets with their theater department and I went up to, to do something up there, and the theater teacher said, I told her about it, and she said, well, try this play and this play, and oh, read the cover of Life. I think you might like that one. And so it took me a couple of weeks to get to it, and when I finally did read it, I said, that's the one. This is it. Wow. It's got the good, strong female roles that I'm looking for. Yeah. It's World War II which era, which is something that I've always been fascinated with. You it's know, southern. There's a southern. Yeah, and there's a southern thing to it. And and the and the writer is R. T. Robinson is from Bastrop, Louisiana, originally. Really? Yeah. Wow. And, and started writing. Actually, he was an actor, and he went to New York to make his fame. And while when he wasn't getting cast in things, maybe he should have asked us. We would have made the <laughs> casting. <laughs> but uh, but he wasn't getting cast. He started sitting down and writing. And one of the things he did was write about the stories that he heard growing up in that kind of era with the women that he, he he lived with his mom and his aunts and and all that kind of stuff and he just told the stories that he heard from the women the strong women in his life well they say to write what you know and right. he has written a really really fantastic play yes, we think so so what's up next for you guys <laughs> i was afraid that's you were going to ask that <laughs> that's the debate it is a long list of things yeah, yeah we ha we have a whole lot of things uh, if we, we we can't go into anything because there's nothing definitive yet we're going to sit down as soon as we close this one and we're going to start either arguing or beating on each other or whatever to figure out what's next but um we're going to close this this show and then really start hitting hitting the ground running trying to figure out because the other idea is is that we want the brick and mortar place yeah sure you know we are gypsy right now so we're going to be moving around we are going to be doing some shows around town but uh we want to find that 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 one place for us to to put down the the real roots right well so. you were doing the show before your timeline anyway right, right. this was sooner yes. than what you had hoped for correct mm -hmm. so, so you're ahead of the game <laughs> so you're ahead of the game and you're building it and i think it's a first great effort and the cast is just exceptional and i just yeah. really enjoyed the show tonight and one of my reasons to do this was to promote plays because i've been in plays and you know, there's a sparse audience, and right. yeah. I think that it's so important to get people excited about community theater and to go out and see things, and uh, so I'm so glad that you guys are putting this on here, and uh, I really enjoyed it. So yeah. thank you so much for talking to me Absolutely. and for everybody Absolutely. listening. I'm going to uh, list the show times, or we can just say it right now. It's one, You have one more weekend. Correct. Correct. Next Friday, Saturday at 7, that's 8, 8 o'clock. Sunday. Sunday, 2 o'clock, that night. And it's here at Company on Stage. Do you guys know the address right off? 4930 West Belfort in Houston. Right and across from Kroger. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. It's really easy to get here. So thank you guys again so much for spending the time with me. And I'll uh, uh, let you go on with your evening. Thank you so much. Thank you, Melanie.